Now, earlier in this series, we revived a brand new, legally original game show format called Catphrase. That is not at all like any existing game shows you might or might not have encountered. That's Mr. Roast Potato there, by the way. <laughs> and do you know what? It was so much fun, I thought we'd do it again. The game goes like this. Instead of well-known phrases, you've got to decode pictures describing misused phrases instead, OK? I'll show you an example from when we first played Catphrase way back when in an old series of mine. We showed our contestants this, and they had to buzz in and guess the phrase, bowl in a china shop. Yeah? <laughs> you're so clumsy, you're like an inanimate bowl in a place where I would 100% expect mm -hmm. a bowl to be. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it. Nothing at all like any existing game show format. You understand how it works? Fingers on buzzers. Let's play Catphrase. <laughs> Oh, you've got Mr and Mrs Red Potato. Oh, yes, straight in, Catherine Don't Ryan. Don't kick a gift horse in the mouth. 100%. Never kick a gift horse in the mouth. Absolutely. Well done. Simple, isn't it? Very simple. Yes, Rufus. Would you also have accepted you can lead a horse to daughter? Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> Uh, and in case you think this hasn't actually been used in the real world, we have some examples for you. Oh, now I am so bummed. Ice cream man just showed up and I didn't know till he was about to leave and my kid's mom got me an ice cream sandwich. I hate ice cream sandwiches. I know, I know. Don't kick a gift horse in the mouth. <laughs> but I just cannot suffer through that. There you go, it's real. And he's Oof. not alone, incidentally. Oh, make sure to lock in some profits, people. Never kick a gift horse in the mouth. This game is giving me a bit of an existential crisis <laughs> because... Language changes. So yeah. when Twitter yeah. first started, mm. yeah. all of that thing about correcting people's grammar and whatever, it was like part of the game of going, I'm smarter than you. And then as we've had Twitter for longer, you go, oh, I see, it doesn't make me smarter than you, it just makes me more pedantic than you, because these things change. Now you show this phrase and I'm thinking, that's a better phrase. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, yeah, this one works as a phrase. They don't all work as phrases. Okay. okay. As okay. you will see, when we look at our next catphrase. <laughs> What's going on here? What is that? Eggs. Diamonds are a girl's eggs oh. friend. No. It'll be Catherine. like six of one, half a diamonds of the other or something. No, but this is the way to play. It's a diamond dozen. Exactly, it is a oh, diamond no. dozen. Exactly. Of course it was. And this is where it's interesting and where I say it doesn't quite work as a phrase because a dime a dozen is putting someone down. Yeah. But a diamond dozen <laughs> <laughs> sounds lovely. Yeah. And if you're using them as interchangeable phrases, right. nothing means anything anymore. <laughs> Let's see this one in the real world. I've always knew I am very different from the average man. <laughs> <laughs> but last night made me realise I'm super different than a lot of dude. <laughs> I'm really a diamond dozen and I'm proud of it. <laughs> And don't you just love the idea that that guy spent an evening somewhere where people go, get off, you're a dime a dozen, guys like you, and he's gone away going, yeah, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a dime a dozen, me. <laughs> anyway, we've got another catphrase in play. Eat. What is Mr Roast Potato doing? He's eating the clock. OK, so let's work with that. Crunch Think time. of other words for eating, other words for clock. What could they represent? Eat. I'm biting time. Exactly. <laughs> it's biting his time. Of course, he's uh, biting his <laughs> time. I'm really Again. bad at this. It's really hard. You basically have to disengage the brain because you're looking for phrases that make sense and Where it's phrases you? that don't make sense. <laughs> And there you go, loads of people oh. saying, biting my time, it is out there. Oh, Let's I'm have... Just biting my time so I can buy a dog and live alone? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so sad? I don't know. Do you even remember tweeting that? <laughs> <laughs> Talking to dogs. Dog, wagging the tail. You what can't teach at? no dog new no. tax. Uh, Susie? No, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> what happened there is I thought, do you know what, if I press the button, it will come wise to me and it tail. didn't. <laughs> You're very close. A wise tail. I think I would... An old wise, wise tail. tail! Exactly, An old wise tail. <laughs> Let's see some examples of this being used in the wild. I guess feed a cold is really a true old wise tale, because I feel a lot better now that I've eaten. Why are people tweeting this? It's such <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about your fucking cold. <laughs> I had a sparrow fly into my house early yesterday morning. I seem to remember an old wise tale about this. <laughs> Does anyone remember it? <laughs>
<laughs> no, no. I, I don't even remember the old wives' tale about a sparrow fly <laughs> going into your house. She's not in a house. house. It's She's not a thing. in a field on ketamine. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have, I keep wondering when I'll meet my wife at the supermarket. <gasps> or is that just an old wives' tale? <laughs> Basically, when you've got a toddler, meeting your wife at the supermarket is dating. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, that's how this works these days. Anyway, do you pretend to be someone else over the avocados? <laughs> <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> Are we married? <laughs> <laughs> come back to there again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at another catchphrase. But le Left the bowl. He took everything. But the bowl? Everything but the bowl. <laughs> Everything except... <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. Everything except... You are so close, Rufus. I mean, you nearly said it. You've just got to put all the words you've used <laughs> into the same oh, like, bloody like, sentence. Like, you like, ex like, acceptable. Oh! Ex Everything, e like, oh. acceptable. Susie Ruffle. It's acceptable. Something about the things being... Acceptable. <laughs> except a bowl. <laughs> Yeah. You sat there for five minutes going, everything except her, everything except her. Oh, Is it a bowl? Is it a bowl? <laughs> except her, except her. <laughs> bowl, bowl. Is it a bowl? <laughs> except it is except a bowl for crying out loud, man. Yeah. How could you not have finished this? <laughs> Wait, are people using this? They are, they are. This first one I, I love because it puts doubt in your mind, this first example. Uh, I'm supposed to be at the airport at 7am and I haven't even packed anything except a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> because who knows, maybe... <laughs> maybe this person yes. has packed a bowl and nothing else. Yeah. Maybe they really like cereal. Yeah. That's, yeah, you've blurred out the username and the picture up there. That could be, like, the head of Campbell's. <laughs> Maybe they are just taking a bowl on holiday, but this person, this, this is definitely clear they mean ac ac acceptable. I'm sure it does, surely. Going commando in sweatpants in public is acceptable, right? <laughs> <laughs> surely your face is just an amazing picture. <laughs> Can vote. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I think we should stop playing this game and be more worried. I think if acceptable becomes acceptable, <laughs> what would the opposite of acceptable be? <laughs> A bowl. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I love, I love your brain. <laughs> but it's not. So, so Is the... it like inacceptable? It's near as damn it that. Non acceptable. No, you're just gonna. Uh, this is just mind blowing for me. I have no mobile data out here. This is on acceptable. <laughs> <laughs> uh, final one now. What could this be? Okay, you've got three Mr. Roast Potatoes. Yeah. The flags on their shirts are going to come in handy, I'll tell you that much straight away. Something about the final whistle? I think so it's um, Belgium. Is he Belgian? E Belgian whistles. Belgian whistles. Belgian yeah. whistles. Rufus Hound has come good. It's yeah. suddenly the jigsaw oh, slots together all of a sudden. Instead of Belgian waffles. I... No, it's Belgian waffles. Oh! <laughs> no, I was thinking at all. <laughs> Going. I like bells and waffles. I, yeah, I love Belgian whistles. Not too many bells and waffles. I, these are just lovely. Um, I don't really need all the Belgian whistles. Oh. I don't need them. No, no. Car salesman thinks I'm a mug. I don't need a blooming sunroof. I live in Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> just want a car to get me from A to B. So stop trying to sell me all the Belgian whistles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have to have a winner for that round. It was beautifully played, but I think the winner of that round is Miss Catherine Ryan, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to her. And congratulations to her.